Hello everybody, Richard here from Velo 29 this is your pre-event briefing to the 2021 Yorkshire Beast. The most scary ride in Yorkshire, probably in Britain, who knows, maybe the world. Make no mistake, the Yorkshire Beast is your toughest day on a bicycle. So, everybody, bear with me, get to the end, I'll do my best to keep it brief and to the point. This is the only event briefing you will get. We do not do one on the start line due to COVID restrictions. Some important information follows. Please listen up. First of all, super important information. This is not a race. It is a challenge. The challenge of this sportive is to complete the event in one piece and receive a finisher's medal. It is only the finisher's medal. If you bail out, you do not get the medal. But everybody, it is not a race. Do not ride like a joker just because you are taking part in an organized challenge event. If at any point during the day you act in a different way because you are in an event, stop, change that thought, ride with the normal caution you exercise on your standard day's riding. Do not take any risks whatsoever. Get to the end in one piece having had a brilliant day, albeit exhausted, but do not take any chances. Sportives, of which this is one, are a privilege on the roads of Britain. We have to follow the rules of the road all of the time. We behave in a way with respect and caution towards other cyclists, horses, cars, walkers, dogs, everything. Do not have any complaints coming to me on Sunday because cyclists were in a group far too big and shouting at horses, get out of the way, I'm in a race. That is not what you are doing to, on Saturday, despite what you might tell people in the office on Monday. Tell them what you want, but on Saturday, it is not a race. Ride with caution, get to the end safely, please. Okay, the beast is super tough. This will be the third edition, 2018, 2019, I was at Kildale feed stop, the first feed stop, and both of those times I could not believe the way that the first hundred riders or so were behaving. Running into the feed, a huge peloton belting down the road at 25 miles an hour, sprinting up climbs, throwing water down the neck, pies flying everywhere, absolutely shambolic. I haven't got time, I've got the toilet, get out of my way! That kind of riding will not get you to the finish line. It will not. You will not ride faster and further than ever before on the same day. Now I appreciate, you know, some of you ride our 100 mile sportives and it takes you 10 hours. You do not have 20 hours to ride 200. So you do have to push on a little bit. You do have to maybe spend a little bit less time at the feed stops than you might normally do less stopping and taking photographs, all of that kind of thing, yeah. And you know, you might be riding at 15 mile an hour and a wheel comes past at 16, 17, jump on that wheel, get a toe, that's absolutely great. But do not stick on the wheel that comes past at 25 mile an hour, putting yourself into the red, you ain't gonna get to the finish. As I've written twice, there is only one clown who succeeds in this event and he's sat behind me, okay? Pace yourself sensibly. Do not get carried away in the excitement of the first few hours. You will not finish. Those 100 people in the first two years who I witnessed behaving crazily, all were in tears on the floor at feed three. This is not a good event. I won't get a medal. Mm. You rode too fast, you overcooked it, you didn't get any rest, you didn't feed like you normally do, and you didn't get to the end. Plan your day. Stick to that plan. You know how fast you can comfortably ride. You are going to go to a dark place. You are going to find this the most challenging thing on a bicycle you've ever done. But you are not going to set a speed record whilst doing all of that as well. So please ride sensibly. If you're going to pick up speed faster than your plan, do that later in the day. When you know, you've got the same amount of energy to burn, if you burn it in the first two hours, you're in the clap, there's no coming back. You get towards halfway and beyond and you still feel good, speed up there. Don't speed up at the beginning because you've got no bailout plan other than getting in the car and going home at Thursk. 
Got that? Everybody ride safely, ride sensibly. So we sent your rider packs. In that is a number and a timing chip. Timing chip goes on the outer surface of your helmet. That is essential. If you leave it at home, put it in the bin, leave it in the car, stick it on your pedal, it will not work. You all want the credit of starting and finishing. So put the timing chip on the outer surface of the helmet. This goes on the front of your bicycle, ideally like that. We need to be able to read the numbers for identification for the safety of the event, but also for the photographs. If you don't care about the photographs, still care about safety, please. So don't fit it like that in the aid of being aero. Everybody looks the same. If you've got to bend it a bit, do it so we can see the numbers. Okay, on the back, write your start time. You've got a stick to the start time. Do not try to jump the queue. I will put you to the back and you will set off late having stood around in the cold for longer than you should have done. Please come to the start line about three minutes before. So we'll open the park in at 4.30, not before. So don't please come to the, to the race course before 4.30. If you do, you're just gonna have to wait outside. It's not gonna get yet. We, don't, we will set off. The people who've booked five o'clock will go at five. The people who've booked 10 past will go at 10 past. As long as you get to the start line three minutes before. So park, take your bike off, Come get a Beast Espresso or whatever you want to do. Check your tyre pressures, all of that kind of thing. And then come to the start line not more than three minutes before your start time. Do not try to jump the queue. If you come too early, it's a pain. We've got to accommodate you, keep you out of the way. We've still got to exert COVID safety. If you come late, all right, we will get you off. But it's probably going to be after 5.30. Only slightly, so try to come on time with this on, with your chip on, ready to go. Write your start time on the back. In the excitement of the morning, we often forget. So stick it on the back, that's helpful for everybody. There is a QR code to download our help application. If you need help on the day, that is the best way to do it. The app tells me in event control where you are, who you are, and what is wrong. So download that before the day, put your number in, it's ready to go. If you can't use the app, there is a phone number and text message works best. Tell me who you are, where you are, and so just say, I've done 100 miles, I've done 50 miles, whatever. Don't give me some detailed description about the color of the cow that you last saw and what is wrong. We triage calls, medical emergency, unforeseen mechanical, Wally who didn't put any inner tubes in his or her pocket, a mini pump or some tire levers. Okay, we will come get the latter, you'll be bottom of the queue. Got that? Splendid. Okay, if you for some reason can't use application or send a text message, you're going to have to ring. That's okay, but the former does work better. We've changed the route to be a figure of eight. That's for a very good reason. It makes it much more safe and easier for us to manage. You can as well leave items which you might require in your car at the headquarters in Thirst and at feed three you can go back to get them. Nice bars of chocolate, additional drinks, even a change of clothing, all of those things it's worth investing five minutes when you get back to feed three to do those things. So you'll ride into the feed, you'll stop and see us, you will go into the gantry because we're checking people back in to Thirsk there. So you must come into the gantry to be accounted for. But then you're free to go to your car and do what you want. Okay? Really good, really good idea to do that. You might want to change tire pressures, you might want to I mean, change your clothing is a really great idea. So I would, you know, seriously take that seriously as a good option. When you get to Thirsk, you know, it is a bailout point. We want everybody to get to the finish and have a brilliant day and it'd be the biggest achievement on the bike. But there's a reality that not everybody is going to do that. It dramatically helps us if you get to Thirsk and make a sensible call on how you're feeling at that point. Recovering huge amounts of people, especially in the current climate, which is extended, um, is a difficult thing to do. We'll get you back, but you know, the more people we have, the longer it takes to get them back. So make a sensible call. It is a halfway point. If you don't think you're going to get to the finish, 
it doesn't help anybody to think, well, I've probably got 50 miles, so I'll go as far as I can and then I'll call for help. That's really not a helpful attitude. I understand the logic behind it, but it really makes it hard for us. So be honest with yourself, let us know. Don't just get in the car and go home, let us know so we can safely account for you. It's a real shame, it will happen. It makes it more safe for everybody else who's taking part if you're pragmatic when you get to thirst for the feedstock. Okay, we can't take things around the feeds for you as we have done in previous years. The COVID regulations do not allow us to do so. Loads of great food at the feeds. We've tried to have a real variety again this year. Um, if you want to take additional food, and I, you know, when I see the experienced guys who come in over the line in the first 50 or so riders, they all have a very specific food that they use for the events like this. So if you have stuff like that, put it in your pockets, put it in your car, it will really help you through the day. Okay, everybody, the beast is built as the toughest day on a bike. Make no mistake, it really is that. You will go to places you've never been to before. There is, a, there is a serious element to that, and it, when we've had crashes or any form of, you know, riders having problems towards, it's towards the end of the ride. When you're exhausted, you don't use good judgment, your ability to react to an unforeseen problem is dramatically reduced through exhaustion. So ride with caution throughout, but that last quarter where you will be exhausted, you have gone to a place that you have not been to, some of you once or twice before, many of you never before. There are some descents, there are some nasty climbs. You've got to be super cautious in those, those phases. That we, have, we have had a few nasty crashes where people have just not paid attention, you know, almost fallen asleep on the bike. Be super careful, stop, have a gel, splash some water on your face, you know, whatever it takes, but exert that caution, especially in the last quarter. Get back safely, please. Have another great day. Receive your medal. Have a beast burger. Have a beer from the bar. Celebrate the success with us. We really want to we really want to do that rather than recover you in an ambulance. Thanks so much everybody. We cannot wait for the biggest event of on a bike. See you all promptly on Saturday morning.